So in just one whole week, Liam Neeson goes from being a tree monster to a mentor. Only Liam Neeson could do that. That's how awesome he is. <laughs> Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Silence. So Silence is directed by Martin Scorsese. The film stars Andrew Garfield, Adam Driver, and Liam Neeson. So Silence tells the story of these two priests played by Andrew Garfield and Adam Driver that are out to go look for their mentor, Father Ferreira, played by Liam Neeson, when he goes out missing. So Andrew Garfield and Adam Driver, they go to this land where the Japanese ban Christianity, religion, Christianity, Christianity is not allowed there and so that's when stuff gets pretty unsettling. So I was definitely very excited for Silence because it is directed by Martin Scorsese. He is a talented filmmaker. Uh, he's just one of the best working today. And then you have a great cast like Andrew Garfield, Adam Driver, and Liam Neeson. And plus just the subject matter and the fact that this is a two decade long project by Martin Scorsese, he's been wanting to get this movie made for two decades, 28 years to be exact. And I have to say, watching Silence, this is an unsettling movie. And this is a movie that's two hours and 41 minutes, so it's close to three hours long. Obviously, it's not as long as something like The Wolf of Wall Street, but it is a very lengthy movie nonetheless. And I have to say, for most of that running time, I was definitely intrigued of where the story was going because Andrew Garfield and Adam Driver, especially Andrew Garfield, you could tell that this is a guy that truly has huge faith in his religion. This is a guy that no matter what he goes through in this film, he is not willing to betray his religion. And seeing the storyline of the Japanese banning Christianity, how Christianity is forbidden. If there's anything religious wise, you are gonna have hell come to you, which is really harsh. It's a very harsh reality. The fact that people are being tormented because they have a specific religion that they believe in. Um, it's very harsh and how Martin Scorsese handled that subject matter I thought was executed so well. And this is from a book that Martin Scorsese was very interested in adapting this film from and I can't comment on the book because obviously I haven't read the book but I'm sure he was able to get as much out of the book as he can, especially for a movie that's two hours and 41 minutes. And speak of Martin Scorsese, since I keep bringing him up, he's great with his direction, which should be no surprise because he's just a great director. And my goodness, the direction in Silence is breathtaking. Every frame in this movie is spectacular, especially when you see the landscapes. It's terrific. The cinematography alone is what just captured my attention for most of the running time because of how it was framed. Andrew Garfield is fantastic here. Man, he's been killing it lately with Hacksaw Ridge and now this movie. This guy is terrific. It is so great to see Andrew Garfield giving such great performances and you know especially someone that's coming from the Amazing Spider-Man movies which I actually don't hate as much as a lot of people because if you guys know I thought the first Amazing Spider-Man was great I thought Amazing Spider-Man 2 was actually pretty good and you know Andrew Garfield was great on the social network but he, Andrew Garfield he's been just been hidden out of the park and I have to give him credit because just like with what he did with Hacksaw Ridge he just shows so much emotional range to his character and his narration for the film as well is just so terrific it really flowed well and never felt out of place whenever he's doing his narration for what's happening and for what he's thinking especially it's so amazing. Adam Driver does a really good job as this priest and while he doesn't have as much screen time as Andrew Garfield does, Adam Driver still does a really good job in this film. He's very believable. Liam Neeson, although not in this film really that much, he really does not have a lot of screen time here in Silence. He still does a very believable job and for someone that 
has such a small part in this film. His part is actually very important to the story. The script in the film is also very well written. I was very impressed with how much they were able to explore how the Japanese forbid Christianity. And I won't give away anything, but how the film does end was really compelling. It was an ending I did not expect and once you do get to the ending of Silence after everything you have to sit through it really does pay off. And I have to say the thing that really impressed me about Silence is that there's not really a score and I think they don't use a score because they want to show you the true silence. Really the most you have to a score is just hearing cricket noises. That's really the most you have. You would think having a film with no score would be distracting, and it wasn't. I actually think how Martin Scorsese was able to use just cricket noises instead of maybe actual music playing in the background. It was actually very impressive to me, and I have to really commend him for that. Now, the only problems I do personally have with Silence, like I said, this movie is two hours and 41 minutes long. So this is a very lengthy movie. It's close to three hours long. And yeah, there's times where I definitely did feel the running time. It's not like I was completely bored watching the movie, but there were definitely times where I can definitely feel the two hour, 41 minute running time just here and there. And I will say, Isai Ogata, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Um, I thought he was a little bit distracting at first. As his character does go along, he does become more interesting. But when you get introduced to him, especially the way he would talk, it did get a little distracting in my opinion, and it did take a little bit of time to get used to him. Overall, I think Silence is a very compelling movie. It's very well directed, it's very well acted, from everybody. The way they show how the Japanese torment people because of their religious beliefs, it is very harsh, but it also felt very honest in the way it was portrayed. It is very well shot. It's very well executed. So because of that, I'm going to give Silence three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Silence and what is your favorite film by director Martin Scorsese. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.